Hi everyone, happy Friday. Um, I'm really sorry I don't have my video on today. I'm having some trouble with my internet and I was told that if I turn the video off, it might help me to connect a bit better. So I'm very sorry about that. I always like to see you and feel like I'm talking to you, but you get to see this lovely picture of Stevie today instead. And hopefully it'll be fixed on Monday. Um, thank you to everyone who sent in their videos of their storytelling. I was so pleased with them. That was incredible. And now we're going to get started on our writing lesson for today. So usually we start with a little starter activity, but today you need to have a look at your steps to success in order to do a good job on your starter activity. So it's the 22nd of January, 2021, and our LO today is to write my story. So really similar to last Friday, only we've made some changes. So looking at our steps to success, remember this is like our checklist of all the things we need to know that we've done a good job of our writing. So looking at the bottom, I can tell the story in complete sentences, which you show me from your videos of your storytelling that you can do out loud. I can use sentence openers. I can use capital letters at the start of my sentence and on names. I can use finger spaces. I can use adjectives. I can use conjunctions. And if you look over here where the stars are, now these are the extra bits, these are the top top challenges that will make your writing really, really amazing. So for one extra star, can you use punctuation? So not just your regular full stops at the end, but can you use an exclamation mark? Can you use a question mark? Can you have your characters ask questions? And for two stars, can you use speech? So there's lots of speech in this story between the characters. And I want to see if you're using that in your writing. All right, so our activity this morning before you get started with your writing is to have a little look at this passage from the story. So I had a little go at starting my story. And what I want you to do is have a think about the steps to success. So what are those things? Hopefully you've made your own little checklist now. You don't have to copy it word for word, but it would be good for you to take a picture of this or have it beside you while you're doing your writing so you know exactly what you need. So looking at our steps to success, how have we done? Let's be the teacher. So I will read it through first and then we'll have a look at it against the steps to success. So one bright sunny day, a little squirrel went for a walk in the woods. First, she came across a sly fox. Where are you going? asked the fox. I'm having lunch with a gruffalo, replied the squirrel. Oh no, cried the fox and he ran away to his underground house. So that's just the start of a story, but already I can see that we're using some really good openers, one bright sunny day. And we know that bright and sunny are both adjectives. Little is an adjective for the squirrel. Went for a walk in the woods. And right at the end of that sentence, we see a nice full stop and we have a capital letter at the beginning. So that's a good sentence to start with. First, that's one of our openers, our connecting words and we can see a capital letter on it. First, she came across a sly, good adjective to describe the fox, fox. Where are you going? Asked the fox. And we know asked tells us that this is a question and I can see a question mark used. And we can see from our speech marks that it's where are you going is a bit of speech. Now, if there are any adults helping at home today, just so you know, Year one, in year one, children don't have to be able to use speech marks perfectly or accurately all the time, but they should have an awareness of them. So it's a good idea to point them out um, or have them have a go at writing them in their writing, but they don't have to use them perfectly. So do not worry too much about that if you're having a look at your child's writing. Um, maybe have a look at that video I posted a few days ago about the spellings, because it gives you an idea of the types of spellings you might want to correct or have them correct. So we've got some lovely questions right there. Ask the fox and we still have that nice full stop at the end. I'm having lunch with a gruffalo, replied the squirrel. Oh no, cried the fox. And it's a good joining word, a good conjunction. He ran away to his underground house. So adding a bit more detail at the end. So already in my first part of my story, I've used so many of my steps to success. I've used sentence openers. 
I've used capital letters at the start of the sentence. I've used finger spaces, adjectives, and conjunctions. Punctuation, we had both of those, and a bit of speech. So I know that you can use all of these steps to success in your writing very successfully. And I cannot wait to see them. Again, we've got our word mat that we used last week. So please feel free to pause the screen here so that you can use this word mat with your writing. And I just can't wait to see your amazing stories. Remember, these are your special stories. So really similar, you've already written the Gruffalo story, but now you're changing your character and you've done lots of work this week on changing your character, planning your story, retelling your story, and now you're gonna write your story. And I absolutely can't wait to read them and to show them in our newsletter next week and to show them on my video next week to really celebrate your good work. So I really can't wait. Remember from last week, I said you can take some breaks. It's a long piece of writing. So if you need to take a little break and rest your hand or go and get a drink or go do something different for a bit, um, just make sure you come back to it because I can't wait to see your really good work. Oh, and we must never forget, good writers always read their writing over. So I can't wait to see the evidence that you've been reading your writing over. I wanna see you correcting those mistakes. And I can't wait to read your stories and I will see you next week. Bye.